Uh, game yetu ya kwanza tumetoka draw haikuwa game rahisi. Uh, well done uh, Lions FC. Uh, but uh, the competition continues. Uh, outstanding player wa Lions uh, uh, mwenye alikuwa amekatia game plan yenyewe ilikuwa ni nani? Uh, kuna mrasta mwingine alikuwa anacheza hapo mbele. Uh, Sijamkumbuka jina. Uh, but is a terrific player. Na saa hizi mmefanya nini kubadilisha game plan yenyewe ya saa hizi? Uh, what is done uh, first half uh, during our first game we started slow. Uh, we started slow. Uh, now this is our second game. This is a must win game. So now we are off the blocks. So to me attack more. Majina ni Sylvester, mimi ndio head coach wa Kirinyaga Stars. First half game imekuwa poa. At least uh, we score kibao moja. So we expect in second half to ende tufunge ba pili then we lock. Being a tournament, we, we can't play an open match. We can't op play an open game. So we lazima tu decompose kidogo to block na tukue na mid block mingi ili kuzuia them kufunga. Opponents ni wazuri, we are giving them respect. So we have to be very careful in how we are playing. Unaonaje hii initiative ya tujiamini na na, na initiative yao vile wamechukua usukani kwa kwa ball ya grassroots? Uh, first of all, you could thank the management ya uh, Sport Pesa kwa kufikiria grassroot level. Uh, talent mingi Kenya iko grassroot, ni venye wajapata yu exposure. So, for this initiative, uh, I know very many players will get an exposure to play at this particular level. And I know around here also we have other coaches, other big coaches who are around, and maybe they can spot one or two players. But the main thing is giving the players an opportunity to showcase uh, what they have. So far, we are very grateful. Our fans are fry, teams are sour, and most of Kama Kirinyaga, we are very happy because at least we are at Twitter and we are hosting. Kusinda, 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 mpaka muiso. Kusia tunjui kusidwa ni nini? Kubuka, penye mega jackpot, mega jackpot, mefika shilingi milioni miatatu msinotisa, ambapo leo hii kekelea, wazia samoja jioni, kekelea basi, Uneza idisho kama mshini. Welcome to a special edition of the Wildcard Show. My name is Venant and today I'm joined by... Yes, it's Tobiko. Good to be back. I'm glad to be back. Representing who? obviously what? Who, who invited you? <laughs> <laughs> who invited you back? <laughs> so just, say, just say your piece. You started too early, man. Just say your piece. You started anyway, too early. Of course, early. I'm Brian Waudo. And as Venant has told you, it's a very special edition of the Wildcard. Yeah. Kirinyagi. Now, not to be tribalistic, but the Kikuyu community call this place the dwelling place of God. So God is in our presence, to Tukohapa, but Amen. especially for football matters. Because there's that little Tujia mini initiative that Sport Pesa are kicking off this month. Tukohapa live. Now, on Apa Kuna Lions, no, Napa, Kuna, Nyumba, Kumi, Stars. Yes. Even the fans are here, mm -hmm. ready to represent local football. This is for you guys, especially, and it's a special edition of the Wildcard brought to you by Sport Pesa. Kumbuka, we have a winner here that's gonna be awarded. Is it three years of uh, mm -hmm. a three-year sponsorship deal yeah. with Sport Pesa, bro? Yes. Mm -hmm. So of course, teams are, are very excited. I can even see the energy when these guys are warming up, and I can tell it looks like it's gonna be a great, amazing day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a good day at talking. I'm fully fitted out. I'm fully kicked out. <laughs> rate my outfit. Match. I'm on Uzanga Japo TikTok. Rate my outfit. Check out the fit. So I'm fully geeked up yes. with Sport Pesa and Tujiamini. We're here representing and it's going to be a good day watching the football and enjoy. <laughs> it's, a juicy, it's a very juicy It's going outfit, to be a very yeah? juicy affair indeed. Me happy na vile mijiamini na pink hapa. Ah, unona watu, unona watu wa jwangi nini. These are colorblind people, bana. This is oh mauve. Oh my God. Ini lejezi, ini lejezi ana vanga, mauve. Ah, so okay. pink. Okay. It's yeah, it reminds me of the Man City. You know, Man City have a history of the ugly mm -hmm. away kids. Yes, Wrong. Yes, yes, yes. It looks like one of them. Like in the Sane and Sterling era. Wrong. It's true. The come red on. One. Wrong. The With kids. Diagonal Wrong. Mm. The kids are not ugly. It's They're the players. out of this world. <laughs> They're just reimagined <laughs> differently. 
They just reimagine different. It's called art. It's called artistic impression. Ah, now Foolish. I want you to highlight this jersey that he's wearing. Yes. yes. Zoom the camera. Yes. Up. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's the camera and easy. This. <laughs> See, it's called the it's called the dirty banana. And then so hey, it's artistic dude, expression. Eh? It's, uh-huh. it's artistic expression. No, this is history in the making. One of your JVC was here before you were born. Come on, you have to show respect. Eh? One of the great <laughs> legends that was in this kit <laughs> Ian Wright. Fair Sour. enough. Fair let, us, enough. let us move A on. Let us move on. Arsenal. And the noise you can hear in the background is, of course, kickoff. Yes. Uh, I can see the Nyumbakumi guys versus Lions up in the spot. Pesa to Giamini yeah. tournament have kicked off. We yes. can't wait to give you the gist of this tournament. Of course, that free seat right there is not for some other guy who's ugly like Tobiko. No, no, no. Uh-uh. It's for special people, bro. Either a coach, either one of the players after the tournament, we will get to get in touch with them. And and they tell us how they feel about this thing and the three-year sponsorship deal that Sport Pesa has put up for grabs. Now, the gist is going to be the KPL, but there's only one place to start. Yes. The first leg, the Rodri stinker or the soccer dive? Ah, wait, come on. <laughs> you cannot call it a dive. It was a legit penalty. <laughs> Teams and fans yes. who, whose team had nothing to do <laughs> on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yes. They were just spectators. <laughs> I'm a Madrid yes. fan. Watching like everybody rest. <laughs> just spectators like everybody else and the ones who have so much to say. Mm. But to kick off the conversation, speaking uh, speaking from a Manchester City point of view, yes. I think it was a very positive result for the team. Mm-hmm. Um, Real Madrid played the game of the year, according to them. Mm-hmm. They petitioned the UEFA body to allow them to close the Santiago Bernabeu. They asked all the fans to come in white. Mm. The Santiago Bernabeu was buzzing and still <laughs> they, they could not three beat goals. Manchester City. Manchester City that has defensive frailties, mm-hmm. that has injuries at this point, and they still could not beat us. So my takeaway from that game is very positive. Um, I think coming into the second leg next week, we should be strong and we should be heading towards the final. I don't know. What do you think? Really? Okay. Heading towards the final. What I came to realize is you guys had an opportunity to secure a win, especially away at Banabao. Considering that second Vardial goal, it was so amazing to watch. You know, that Foden for me, it was the one that, it was like an icebreaker because at some point the game was a bit still. But when Foden did, you know, Foden for me is like Man City's play of the season. Mm-hmm. He actually yeah. is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, now coming to see the Oscar, uh, Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob and Rico Lewis, uh, of course, coming off from the Liverpool game. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. are still continuing. I like Pep's enthusiasm and optimism when he's talking about Man City after the games. You know, So I don't know how you feel towards the second chapter now of this uh, uh, Real Madrid fixture. Yeah, it was very positive. Um, I think the game started off very strongly, strong, started off very hot. There was a bit of action. Mm. Yeah. Then it slowed down a bit in the... In, First, in the second half when it started, it became more of a chess match, but the Foden goal really, really unlocked it. Yeah. yeah. But going into the second leg, um, I'm quite excited. I think we'll be having Ederson back. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll be having uh, Walker back. Grealish is back. Stone is back. The team is back to full fitness. Uh, right now, the fans are screaming. That noise that you can hardly hear in Old Trafford. No, ah, at the empty, <laughs> empty hut. It's very hard ah. for you to hear such noise in the Old Trafford. There's nothing to cheer about. Not when Kobe but, Vino is playing. But yeah. going, but going yeah. into the second leg, um, I'm really excited as a Manchester City fan. I think um, we're going to control the game and we'll have too much fun. Okay, fair enough. From a Madrid perspective, I'm pissed off that they did not kill the game off in the first half. I personally believe Madrid should have been 4-2 or 4-1 up yes. in the first half because yes. they did pose a threat. But then mm-hmm. these are the kind of games. I mean, these questions have been asked about Haaland so many times. But Haaland has kept on. I mean, he scored against Spurs. He scored against United. He scored against Liverpool. He scored against Chelsea. So, you know, Haaland is a big game player, albeit that one off in the Santiago Bernabeu. The question on the other side is Bellingham. You've scored against Mallorca. You've scored against Real Betis. You've scored against Las Palmas. Where were you when... Uh, when Man City came to town. I think that's the question that's going to be asked. Because if he has another stinker in the second leg, then we'll be like, bro, Good as what happened? I mean, what, wa- what, what was the point of you scoring a, scoring a brace against Mallorca when you can't do it in two games against City? So going into the second leg, I, I hope it won't be the same story as last year. Because for me, last year, the 1-1 one, one, uh, draw killed it off. Because in the second leg, Bernardo had one heck of a game. And I think City won 4-0. Yeah. And I Always hope it won't be the case. I want it won't be the case. Because the rumors 
the rumors at Marca, the rumors in Madrid are saying the players are still confident. Ruga and Valverde are the huge voices now. Uh, as much as Cruz and Modric are getting old, the players still feel there is a chance mm -hmm. for them to get to the semis and hopefully another a 15th Champions League title for them as a club. So you feel the second leg now you guys are going to win you see the same way atalanta beat anfield uh, beat liverpool at anfield yes madrid are coming for blood at the etihad you know it i beg you to differ it. i beg uh -huh. to differ because for once mm. now nah, i mean yeah i say mm -hmm. i believe city are gonna do a repeat of what they did last season a trouble no uh -huh. beating real madrid that okay, is okay okay they had an opportunity to do it versus uh Man City at Banabao mm -hmm. and Man City three goals is a lot that, honestly that, yeah, yeah three goals is a lot and you guys have failed to win and City KDB are well rested healthier KDB is gonna be there and I think they're gonna go bonkers on um, Real Madrid that's why Mina Giamini and Atakweka Kichwa Man City. City second leg. Yes. Where can rent? Where is it? So, Bazi, you made me think I'm going to die, Vama. Ah, come on. Mm. That thing was a legit penalty. Wrong. You must be mad. When and what kind of ah, football are you come watching? Let's all agree. Wrong. With this, with this, even some referees were like, it's 50-50. I think I can take that. I can, if it's 50-50, I can take Fair. that. Even before we get to that soccer incident, yeah. I think this this first leg against Bayern Munich was the equalizer for you Arsenal fans and your mouthy selves. Because this is probably the best, the best ever Arsenal side. Super Mikateta is coaching a masterclass of a team mm -hmm. against the worst ever Bayern side. I mean, Harry Kane has probably brought that Tottenham trophy cast to Munich. And yet, Kiwior had a stinker. They could have possibly won that game 4-2. Mm -hmm. Sanez one-on-one -on -one chance. Coman hitting the post. What happened at a fully packed Emirates without a single Bayern Munich fan? What went wrong? Let me criticize Arsenal for just a few seconds before you talk about how great we are. <laughs> so here's the thing. Ateta and Arsenal as just a community. They made sure no Bayern Munich fan who sold a ticket outside. The Even Emirates. outside. Even outside. Outside the Emirates. Uh -huh. You know, mm. we remember when the second goal mm. uh, Trossard scored. Yes. The whole stadium was as loud as like it was Anfield, rocking. in my yeah. opinion. And yet, we somehow couldn't get the third goal. Of course, as an Arsenal fan, I believe we still could have won that game. Because mm -hmm. there's that kind of belief that we have in us this season where even though it's the 67th minute or the 77th minute, we believe there's a goal coming. Mm -hmm. And right now, for me, Trossard has secured. For me, I believe he needs to start the next game. Over Martinelli. Over Martinelli. Okay. Yes. Uh, we, of course, we talk about Rice being signing of the season for mm -hmm. Arsenal and also the Premier League. Mm -hmm. But it was at this game where we got he got a bit exposed. Because you look at the, is it the first goal? Yes, the Nabi where, goal. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he gave away space. Mm -hmm. And those pass, 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 bow, you know. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's not something you do mm -hmm. if you have that experience that you yeah. believe in, you yes, know. Yes, yes. So this first... Uh, match, it, it's on Arsenal. If you have any jokes, by all means, <laughs> this is the right time. Because <laughs> Mimi, I say it, but coming into now the second leg, I think Ateta goes all guns blazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Producer, where's my camera? <laughs> now, the word of today is pedigree. Bass. Stature. Bass. Big European pedigree. Bass. Teams like Real Madrid have it. Teams like now Manchester City have it the greats of the competition. And it is one thing that Arsenal lacks. And the last time I was on the podcast, I said, Arsenal and the fans, you're stuck in a cycle where you start believing, then you realize, oh my God, we're actually not that team. Mm -hmm. And then you get back and injecting you start believing hopium. again, injecting hopium. <laughs> that game showed the class different between Bayern and Arsenal. No matter how good Arsenal is, they're still not experienced enough to take on the big stage as Bayern probably because most of the players that are in the Bayern team have been there before mm -hmm. for example Goretzka yes he has Kimmich he's a champion league mm -hmm. winner Kimmich being led by Neuer at the back so it's just a question of experience I still think Arsenal is a better team than Bayern I still think on any other night you could have won that game but still it's very surprising that you didn't well, you weren't able to finish it off but I think I also agree with you mm -hmm. going into the second leg I think Ateta goes All guns blazing, blazing. Mm -hmm. yeah trying to get the win in the first half 
It is going to mean much more denying hurricane. <laughs> what do? That progression to the next stage. What do? Yes. You tell us where you're gonna bet. I mean, I'm sticking. I'm sticking to my predictions that I made once the draw was done. Mm -hmm. I said no English side will be in the semi-final. I've already said I'm backing Madrid to pull a stun at the Etihad. Uh -huh. And I think with Ateta going all guns blazing, mm -hmm. that's where Sun and Coman will come into play and counter. I think Bayern Munich win the second leg two one. Two one. Kichwa kwa Bayern Munich pale. Now I think and we need to include, only play. Okay. We, we, need, we need to include a disclaimer. Yes. Kwai video and yes. the disclaimer is do not take Waudo's betting picks. Why? Lest you lose your house. <laughs> this season, this season I've made because two score predictions. No, no, no. Already. Because not only do I think it's that it's not only going to be one English team that will progress. You think two? I think it's going to be an all English semi final. Highly dependent on how Arsenal plays, yes. but my prediction is for an all English. Can you can you make can you make an agreement right now? Yeah. In the event that happens. Whoever wins the semi-final will be the better manager this season. Hell no. Between what? who? Trophies. Ateta and uh, Trophies. Pep. Hell no. Winning a semi-final does not determine you you'll win the final. <laughs> that's, this, first of all, that's recency bias. <laughs> yes, exactly. Pep no, has so you're been, looking at this season. No. We've mentioned he's mentioned this season a couple of times. We, we're talking about okay. this season. Arsenal was not in UCL last What's season. What's your basis? So we, What's yeah? your basis behind saying if Ateta beats Pep, then we are going to say when he's the I best manager, the better manager? When I manager. said we've beaten Pep twice, usually makes that long face. But that was one one in the community That's shield. Just one that one in the community penalty. shield, and then on penalty. The other one was another pack. The bus deflected Martinelli goal, and then you went to the Etihad. Tails between your legs. But what with this <laughs> so recent bias? We've been, we've been chaining you ever since 2017. As, no, no, we're talking about this season. Say Arsenal your statement. Is I want you to say it. Let Arsenal is unbeaten, unbeaten against versus Man City so this see, season. With Venant's logic, since Arsenal is unbeaten against City, Ateta is a better manager. This Man season. United are unbeaten against Liverpool this season. Is Tenag a better manager than Klopp? No, you guys fumbled exactly, a good lead. Exactly, my point. And two, we cannot <laughs> compare Manchester United ah, with us. Get no. out. Yeah, exactly. We've yeah. got three Champions League titles. Yeah, this conversation <laughs> will never end. <laughs> yes. So the this conversation will never end. This is this is uh, this is two trash teams. Sour, sour. These two trash teams debating <laughs> against each other. Let us move on. Let's mm. talk about great teams now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's talk about the Mashemeji Derby that's coming on this weekend. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Gorma here once again are gonna extend their winning formula against you guys. Yeah. You guys right now, I don't know if you've discovered your winning formula yet, At least but what have... I know is yes. we are, I'm happy as a Gormaya fan where we are. We have one defeat in our last five. We are not scared. Yes. I'll tell you something. Yes. Do you know Ingwe? Yes. Do you know Ingwe? Mm -hmm. Do you know Ovusuma? Mm -hmm. Do you know Ingoho? Uh -huh. You see her? You uh -huh. see that? I'm striking fear into your eyes. Ah. I'll give you two words. <laughs> two words for that Mashimeji Derby on the 20th of April. Yeah. Victor Omune. Okay. End of story. Okay. End of story. He's okay. he talked big game. Uh, producer, if we can pull up the league position. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, we can, if we can just pull up the league position of Ingwe. <laughs> of Usuma. Fear. Yeah. <laughs> if we can pull up the league position and place it on the screen, just yes. to see what position are you in the league, boss? Bro, to go down bad, but to not improve. Uh, no, no, let me know. What, what, what position are you in the, the league? Record, you know. Huh? Are we sixth? We are sixth. You're not eighth. We are sixth. You're not nah, eighth. No, nah, no, you're not sixth, you guys. We're FC, eighth. Leopards, you're not eighth. FC Leopards are eighth right now. Last match in Veggie Derby, who won? See, of course, them, man. And kept a clean yeah. sheet. Of Come Usuma. on, just finish us. <laughs> Ingo. Ingo. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> so yeah, the Moshemeji Derby is coming up. Let us call it, I don't know if we call it the Kenyan El Clasico or El Clasico is the Kenyan Moshemeji Derby. I don't know how to, mm -hmm. to call it, but yeah. however we look at it, um, I think not only is it just a game, it's a cultural phenomenon for, for Kenya as well. I think the turnout and the hype around the Moshemeji Derby is really good. Actually, it's very top. It's one of our, one of the best experiences one can have as a Kenyan football yes. fan. And personally, if you look at, if you ask me, I will say it's the green side. Yeah, and those are those big, big Yes. <laughs> Ebufanya hivyo unashika unashika shingo unachinja hivyo ndio tutafanyia Benson Omala kikam hivyo 
Actually Ben Solomon Ah Biambo Ivo Simiti huko ndio Ivo Ivo You guys are struggling to score goals right uh-huh. now mm. so itakuwa ngumu to do it against the best defense in the league mm. Yes True enough true enough I agree with that you guys have the best defense in the league mm-hmm. Table and also a big shout out to your favorite player in the team of course Simiti not only is he a leader at the back he's also one great of a, a good defender mm-hmm. and also your boy so not just kuzi ume make it unaongeana na Omar DM So so mwambie so mwambie your day about the flu so mwambie I'm telling you when when you when you see all sub status and the yeah. the v, the first clip you see is mm-hmm. ku finish kumalo it's just hey, no hey, it's about to be a great game ahead and I'm so happy for him man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah but uh, both teams are going into that game uh, with uh, almost the same form yes win loss draw win loss draw in the last uh, three games mm-hmm. however one is chasing for a second consecutive win Mm-hmm. That one is mad in a mid t- in a mid table <laughs> scrap. Um this this weekend Gorma here playing against Nzoya. Yes. Right? Yes. Bottom of the league. Mm-hmm. Cannon fodder. Cake walk. Cake, Cake walk. It's a dress rehearsal. <laughs> It's a practice for Train what will happen station. next week. Yes, <laughs> for what will happen next week. Clean sheet. In fact, Mm-hmm. I am that confident. I clean Ooh. it in fact. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And all these fantastic games you can catch them live. Of course, wherever you are betting on the best place to place your bets is Sport Pesa. Whether it's a Gormahia or FC win, whether it's Man City or Real Madrid win, whether it's Arsenal or Bayern Munich win. Remember the pay bill number is 955100. Your phone number is the account number. And of course, all you need is 99 bob to become the latest millionaire in town because right now the mega jackpot sits at over 358 million Kenyan shillings. Wow. Imagine that kind of money man. Hiyo in our 60 year history tukipata hiyo doka kama FC inaweza tusaidia sana. Yes. <laughs> inaweza tusaidia sana. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. I still want to remind you that's equivalent to the amount that Manchester United pays Anthony Mateus dos Santos. <laughs> <laughs> man can you rest only brother ako. He's literally your twin brother. Can you rest? Uh, okay. Can you rest? <laughs> there's a tweet the, the, you, uh, mm-hmm. there's a tweet that Venant sent uh, yes. earlier today about the Mashemeji derby which yes. player you associate um, with the Mashemeji derby mm. it can be a current player or an all time player for me we have to start with Omala mm-hmm. because of that goal that he scored the first goal to me which was one of my favorite Benson mm-hmm. Omala goals that I've seen this season so it's memorable for me on that list and also somebody who I look forward to or people who I look forward to uh, kuna Musa Zawili mm-hmm. on the team versus uh, Kakamega Homeboys they played very well and given more game time I think they're going to do something against you guys. Did they play well or did they fumble because Homeboys have had your number this season No 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 I'll go fit you but Okay I'll fair enough. Fiti, yeah I said it uh, when we started talking about the Mashemeji derby Victor Omone I mean his goal against Sofapaka should give him confidence coming into this game it's a big game feeling it's the biggest game in the 254 of yes. Victor Omone uh, go get me a goal mm. Speaking of goals, when we come back, we are going to look at FPL and why game week 34 is one of the best game weeks in Premier League. And not only in FPL matters, but also we've just seen one heck of a save from the Nyumba Kumi goalkeeper and we'll be having him or, or any other player live here taking, telling us about the Tujiamini initiative that Sport Pesa is currently on. Remember, we are here at Kirinyaga to go on ground on this special edition of the Wild Card. <music> Welcome back now right now we have a very 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 special guest here and as apenda I just introduce na tuambie much more about team yenye na support hapa yenye inacheza and uh, so Alex tuambie eh uh, uh, mimi naitwa Alex Mugo uh, chairman nyumba 10 FC yes uh, nyumba 10 FC ni team uh, based uh, Kiambu Kiambu Road pale panaitwa Dindegwa uh, tunacheza Central FKF Regional League Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, tuna participate uh, kwa hii uh, cheza dimba tujinue tournament ya sport pesa yes mm. alex uh, hii nyumba kumi eh, nyumba kumi fc mm-hmm. hii, what does it mean to you like iko na value gani kwa maisha yako eh mm. naweza sema iko na value kubwa sababu yeah. eh, tukianza mm-hmm. uh, tumepatia tumepatia vijana wengi sana platform eh? mm-hmm. okay Uh, tumeza kuwapatia a chance to express themselves through football mm-hmm. e, na pia tumeza kuwatoa mtaa mm. e, wasiingie kwa mambo mingi mambo ya drugs na unajua mambo ya pombe mm-hmm. e, so nyumba 10 fc naweza sema it's got sense 
Yeah, so those yes. are amazing initiatives. Um, so Alex, Mkishinda Ito now, what will winning the tournament and possibly the cash prize mean for you and the team as well? Uh, this will mean a lot uh, for us as a team. Eh? Sababu, uh, start, start kwa danganya, kuran ball za mashinani, mm. uh, it's not easy. Uh, see, but it's grassroots. Uh, we have no funding. Mm-hmm. Uh, a sponsor, uh, as they are talking. Uh, from 2017, since we formed the team. Uh, see, it's rely on well wishers, uh, people of goodwill, and our fans. Mm. So, tuka goda katusa idea to shinda pesa. It will go a long way. Ita tupunguzi ya garama za za kucheza ligi eh, mainly transport eh, si upatia players at least meals we don't pay our players we can't afford but at least we upatia a meal eh, and uh, maybe fares uh, referees fees pia itasaidia sana and even planning ahead for sub 20 qualify for division 2 itasaidia okay. sana okay yes and i like how you guys are like a community like you know hapo ni wafuasi wenu wamekuwa ki shine hapo kupiga kelele wa support unaona hapo kuna chance fulani karibu mfunge bao and stuff mm. and are there any challenges hapa here that you wenye kidogo wako tricky yenye kwa kwa chafu itakuwa noma ama kuna wale ama hii ni like a walk over for you no siwezi sema ati ni walk over Sababu so, we have to respect our opponents. Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ati mingi ya tujacheza nazo wapa. Mm. Apart from one team, iko Pulbina, ito wa Nibs Galaticos. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, are in the same, we are in the same pool uh, kwa regional league. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played them first leg, uh, we won at home. Nice. Uh, we are still to play them uh, the, second, uh, uh, the second game as in, in the second uh, leg. Eh? Uh, they are a good team. Apart from Sasa uh, Galaticos, the other teams, Kerenyaga All-Stars, career and uh, is what teams in uh, nazo. What we are doing is we are taking one game at a time mm-hmm. and uh, bearing in mind like we are respecting all our opponents. Okay. Game I, by game. Ah, I like that initiative. Game by game, time uh, after time. Because Adimi, I can see the improvement. Like shukra, your own jerseys. No, na pale nyumba kumi the club budget itself from 2017. Eh, na your initiative. By the but, way, uh-huh. uh, mm. sana sababu. Eh. Uh, we are community-based organization. Yes. Uh, yes. To your certificate. Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, we have our own. Uh, we have our own like. Uh, we have account. Eh, mm. uh, pay bilietu. Mm. Uh, so easy just me ona. So what we do is see who's your da pahali. Then to know the fans. Fan na li pafau. Iyo fau sasa ni cost ya printing na jersey. Everything. Yeah. Ile profit na baki goes along with support the uh, yes, supporting yeah. the club. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we have to raise uh, money uh, within us uh, mm. for the team to survive. Sasa Alex na nani kama second half imerudi na hapa. Hey. <laughs> please. Hey. Ma fans wenye wamekuja hapa hey. ku enjoy game ni kama ni ma fans wa team yako. Mm-hmm. They're loud, mm. they're energetic, they're excited to be here. Yeah. So what is your take on the first half when you meenda game ina kaaje? Eh, naweza sema first half haijakuwa hasn't been great for us. Yeah. Jana wameanza shake kidogo. Uh, but we had uh, our chances. Uh, they had their chances actually. And alafu sababu inachezwa dakika kidogo 20 minutes eh. Oh, okay. Uh, so I hope uh, my boys second half. Mm. Awaneza makinika. Eh uh, wajua tuna time mingi sana. Eh uh, wafunge mabao. So mm. I'm hopeful second half to improve. Yes, and get the win. Okay. If, mm-hmm. What's what's that one thing? Cuz manze mupenda ku watch Bulls are live. No one friend of attending easy games and stuff. Uh-huh. And it's different from APL because, for, for starters, you mentioned about the soccer incident. Mm. There's no VR, Apa. Yeah. You know, there's no VR. Lensman has to be spot on mm-hmm. because Kunama fans want to jamali and Aish. You know, and 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 fans are genuinely happy for the team. Yeah. You know, mm. fans want to join the players vizuri. Mi na Joe Anthony, I don't know where he stays. Mm. It's for salary yake nyuse. Pia me mention hapa. So what are some of the things that you as the chairman or also you as the fan, yeah. you like about nyumba kumi as a club that you feel it's like second to none when you're looking at now these other teams like Arsenal or Manchester United? Uh, first of all, eh, mm. eh, what I say, we have a very talented team. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maboizu wetu nao wakianza kuipiga wa ipiga. Uh, then uh, fans were too, wanna vibe. They are full of vibe. Mm. Actually, you never get a boring day. Mm-hmm. Whether we are playing home uh, or away, 
Mm. So game zetu zote actually every other Sunday mm. ama every other time tuko na mechi. Mm-hmm. Mafans wetu wanga wanangoja game sana. Oh, kwa Tukakuwa kama hatuna game. Mm-hmm. Inakuwa na kuanga na siku mrefu sana. <laughs> they are so addicted now to this. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, oh, Mr. For Alex. The, mm. for, the, for the record, where do you guys play? Eh, tuko na uwanja wetu iko pale Kasarini Primary. Kasarini okay. Primary iko Kiamburu de. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ukienda kama unaenda Paradise Lost ama Wadidega. Ah. ah, okay. So on the right after PC Church kuna Kasarini Primary fightanga San Siro. Mm. Hiyo ndio now that's our home. <laughs> that's your San Siro. <laughs> yes. yes. Ambapo kuna atmosphere. Hapo ndio kichinjio mbili. Ah, so that's our Mr. Alex Manze. It's great to have you here Manze. Team chairman wa nyumba 10 FC hapa Kirinyaga yes. and we don't take too much of your time bana. Yes. Enda uangalie wewe vijana wako wakisakaja dimba pale second half. Asante sana. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Thank you for having me guys. Sawa, sawa. Okay, All the best. Yeah. Now, as we continue to give you the lowdown here of the Tujia Mini tournament here in Kirinyaga, man, guests mm-hmm. beyond guests are here. And yes. right about now, I want to welcome one heck of a guest. His name is Willis. He's the PR manager of Sport Pesa. And he's going to give us a lowdown of what the Tujia Mini experience is all about. Willis, come on, though. <laughs> Mr. Willis, how are you doing, man? Thanks, Sana. Thanks, uh-huh. Sana. Well, Kofiti. Karibu Sana, Kirinyaga. Yeah, Sana, yeah, Sana, man. Yeah. It's been a short journey, but an enjoyable one. And I'm glad to be here, you know, representing the brand, Sport Pesa. I don't know you've donned them Muranga still jazzy pal, brand new uh, form. I, I hear they, they lowered the price of sugar this past weekend. It's a great experience to come here. Yeah. Thanks to, of course, thanks to Sport Pesa. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. But at the end of the day, I just want you to tell us the whole experience from your perspective and also from what guys should experience when they come to these events as we start off today. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot for the opportunity and thanks for being here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Finally, it is happening. Mm. Uh, we'll be talking about it uh, on the show. Yes. Uh, and we've come right to the grassroots. Mm. We normally say grassroots where the talent is actually bred. Bass. And we are seeing Bass. a lot of uh, sporting talent on board. Mm-hmm. And Tujiamin is just getting to start uh, taking its course and it's getting that traction it deserves. Mm. Uh, so we started in month one. We've been in Central yes. scouting for talent, both sporting talent and any other talent in the economy, be it podcasters, be it any mm. musicians or even rappers. And we seen so far uh, three million being awarded for month one so far oh. so this was much and uh we are now uh expecting the fourth winner of the the, it's called the Chesa Dimba category. Mm-hmm. So basically, the, the fourth uh, category, which is the ah, football category. Football category. So we've uh, uh, highlighted or even shortlisted up to six teams, six football teams who are battling it out for that three-year sponsorship. Mm-hmm. So all these teams right now are playing in the grassroots level, be it the sub county, yes, the yes, regional the league. Regional. Yeah. And our aim and our, our wish is to see them get elevated so that at the end of the three years, uh, we see them elevated either to going to all the way to the National Super League mm-hmm. or even who knows, there would be a Muranga seal. By the uh, way, in less than three yeah. years or so, mm-hmm. they would climb up even uh, to be playing in the Kenyan Premier League. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Sao Basi, and I'm very happy for you you guys to chukwa initiative because I'm getting to now to... Because me, I like touching base now, my players, nanini, and they are hungry for success. Yeah. Like, some of you who are in Yumbakumi, they are very, very, very grateful. I've actually, let me just speak on behalf of them. They are very, very grateful for this opportunity, and they actually look forward to more i'm assuming there is more to come even from other counties yes there is actually more to come and like you say uh they're really grateful yes one thing that uh most of the guys are never vast with is you go down there uh to the where the most of the teams belong even a simple thing as just being even the kit mm-hmm. really goes a long way we've seen tournaments uh, i won't mention any where people even the winner gets awarded the top and then um, the second place gets awarded the shot for instance mm. but here is a platform where they are awarding them with up to 250,000 annual sponsorship to just help them uh, be it go about the affiliation fees, help them go about transport, or even allowances, transport allowances, or even meal allowances whenever they want to honor their matches. Mm-hmm. So we are going a long way and we are enabling them to do this. So beyond that, of course, we'll also be kitting them, uh, the winning team with both home and away uh, kits to enable them just uh, excel and even just put in a little more effort. So as we move along, uh, right now we are in Eastern, uh, category, uh, the Eastern region, uh, again scouting for more sports and even other talent developments. So this is a year-long campaign that will go all the way around the country and it will be awarding uh, all the winners as we go region by region. So Tujiamini is here to stay. It is here to impact a lot more talent 
And guys, if you head on to the to Giamini Social Room, the website, mm -hmm. you see a lot of incredible talent mm -hmm. and people are actually making it happen. Uh, it's going to give a challenge to all the football and even the sporting stakeholders out in the country. But grassroots down there at the levels, uh, there's a lot more that we can support to just help make sports and talent a whole creative economy. Most of the time, people have been playing sports as a part-time, or even as a leisure activity. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then we've seen even across the world, sports can be a full-time career, and that's what Tujiamini aims to achieve. Yeah. You need to poor sana because I know a lot, a lot of my friends who look forward to these opportunities and they believe it's either through like uh, Karubangi Sharks or through uh, Gor Mahi or something. But I'm glad right now at the very, very, very basic level they get to get this exposure. And I think that's one of the themes, Bran, that I'm, get, I'm learning as I'm recording this from mm -hmm. this uh, event. It's yes. the exposure. Mm -hmm. They're giving the local people exposure. Mm -hmm. Unona, see to Nairobi peke. Unona, tuko kirinyaga, man. Next month, see to kwa wapi, but tuka tu place poor. Even the people are welcoming, you know. 100%, 100%. Mina ngoja sasa, mina ngoja sasa, utulete tu Jiamini tu ende coast. Eee! Tupige show kama hii baharini. But sasa mimi, wili swali angu ni, what do you think about the atmosphere today? The tournament has been organized, everything is here. Tunasikila mafanzo wako hapa. Wako na energy mob, kushindata mafanzo wa manu. So sasa nataka utueleze, what do you think? How is it Today is it to your expectations? Ama, how do you feel about today? So we really feel uh, happy and are grateful to it because today is Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Everyone, we have hundreds and hundreds of people uh, coming into the to the grounds. All these people would have had something to do on their normal weekend. Yeah. But then, who know that like, there's a team such as Nyumbakumi, for instance, Nyumbakumi FC, yeah. or Lions <laughs> FC. And we saw but as yeah. early as 9 a.m. Yeah. People are already coming. They are sacrificing. The some have used the transfer yes, and everything yes, yes. coming to the grounds to just help and support their teams. They had the option of waiting for the evening to support their Manchester United for instance yes mm -hmm. but they've sacrificed their time uh, they're here to support people that they believe hold the potential and some of the players that they really relate to at the grassroots level uh, to help uh, emerge the winners of this category yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can tell from Willis's perspective, all the Tujiamini initiative is all about exposure and exploring the talent that is in the 254. Already he's mentioned that over 3 million has been awarded to dancers, rappers, Rapp singers, them and there. Na pia kuna yele kategori ya Cheza Dimba. Hata hapa we can see it live. Ni mwona hapa kuna mse ya McLear Ball. He's possibly the next Simiti for Gormahia. Yes. Not only possibly. as a captain, but as a defender, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the next Tomala. Exactly. The Shall. next Tomala could be here, right here in Kirinyaga. Versus FC. <laughs> 100 percent i believe in that 100 percent and remember there is that three-year sponsorship deal that the winners will be receiving can you imagine that i mean i'm grateful for this opportunity not only to work with you guys as sport racer, but also to see the work you're doing out there for the community you've said yes. this will run for a whole year, a whole year it's yes. gonna be fantastic today you scout talent from kirinyaga yes. this month we are in embu promoting we're in the eastern region i yes. can't wait to see what we'll scout from the eastern as well thank, thank you, you very much for coming here willis thank you very thanks much a willis mm -hmm. thanks a lot mm -hmm. and then see you next in eastern so, so, inshallah. we'll be there no matter what thanks, thanks a lot <laughs> possibly at the coast <laughs> Because we will definitely come to cost of life. <laughs> so. Back again here at the Wildcard Podcast, man, courtesy of Sport Pesa, to Kohuku Kirinyaga today, the 13th of April. And right now, we are welcoming two guests, two winners over the game between Midway and uh, uh, Nyumbakumi okay. FC. Uh, they just came off of a 1-0 win to Kohapa na Stano na Mushiri. How are you guys feeling after that enormous win? Yes, the feeling is jovial. Mm -hmm. We're very excited for the win. And now we focus on the next game. Ah, next game. All you need is a point, but you guys want all the three points. We want yes. three points. Sawa, sawa. Nimekaa hapa na Stano. Stano ndo top striker, gunman. Unaona ya kitu wa meka. Havo kama ya Benzema. Yenda wa mifunga bawa ingine ya maana sana. Kasa Stano, tuambe ya maze. Umecheza futa for how long? Eh, ni kama nilianza hii futa kitambo. And niko poa tu pali tumefika na venye hii dima inatupeleka na sport pisa. Naona mi personal watanipeleka mbali na as a team. Najua watatujenga, najua tutachukua hii point zingine tatu and we qualify for the finals. Na bado tutaendelea tu hivyo, final tunapitia. Sasa unaona tunapitia. Sasa unaona tujamini inaweza kusaidia aje kwa chief dreams hako katika kutuwa za dimba ma. Na kwa kusaidia pia vijana wengine. Hei watatusaidia sana. First, 
beyond Kenya of course na jua same original mwende original mwende NSL maybe muingi hata maybe KPL na hata we personally father maybe hata utoke Kenya wende ucheze abroad ndio mhm so tume my dream kwa nikuwe mdogo kwa kuchezea team za maju kaza pata the channel some exposure yes wewe mfano wa Arsenal kwanza mimi mimi ni wa Arsenal watu wa Arsenal wanakaanga tu wanasema wanakaanga tu eh 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 kuna hata kutembea Emirates hiyo ni dream nitaachivika tu so umesema unataka Odegaard akupe assist your next game kio na saka eh na experience leo imekuwa aje to na my games my feel aje especially kongoja games na come next knowing that it's a not really a must win lakini that the game after that yenye ni finali itakuwa must win when we Uh-huh. How do you the, feel about that? Mm-hmm. The feeling. Mm-hmm. So quite excited bado kogopo gopa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mistakes were happening in the ball. But tuna tunajiamini tu ka team tutafuta hizi 3 points na tuchifike finali. Mm-hmm. Na since nimesa, um, umesema hapo mnajiamini. Mm-hmm. Najua kila msee mmoja wenu mko na wale role models ama favorite player. Okay. Wako ni nani stano? Mimi favorite player eh. Kenya ama mpaka abroad. Ah, wote wote. Wote wote. Ah, mimi as a striker napenda mm. Hurricane. Ama Hurricane. Eh, mimi wote wote na nampenda. Mm-hmm. Na najaribu kufuata hivyo hata mimi kuchezea spa. Ehe, eh, ehe. Like a dream bado. Ah, Hurricane. Eh. Na wewe Mushiri? Ah, mimi wangu ni mapema kidogo. Eh. Kama namkumbuka, alikuwa anaitwa Santi Kazola. Santi Kazola. Mm-hmm. Eh. Eh. Na sasa kwa maestro. <laughs> Nataka ku create your rift hapa. Nyinyi mm-hmm. kama teammates sahi. Mnaongeanga uh, are you guys friends? Yes. Mnaongeanga pamoja wewe una support Spurs, una support Arsenal jamani. <laughs> Kila mtu uruku. I like picha yake lunaziwa lazima iko hivi. Hizo game kwanza mnaonanga pamoja ama mnaonange pamoja. Lakini Arsenal Tottenham. Rival iko. Na tunachukulia kikombe kwa wao. Sasa before we come tulikuwa tulikuwa na discussion nyingine hapa. Next week kuna mashemeji derby. Gor versus AFC. Tunataka tuchukue predictions kati ya nyie wawili. Mimi sasa nataka ku bet na pesa yangu. Nataka nyinyi jua mpira mnipe predictions. Gor ama AFC next week bana. Uh, nianze yeah. so goal wa wako tu sawa wataziamini kabisa mm-hmm. lakini anaenda na leopard anaenda na leopard anaenda na chui umetambua ball eh eh mushiri mimi according to venona tembo standings mm-hmm. kwa maana wanahitaji mo ataka fc ona nataki waachilie kikombe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isha enda so enda na goal mai. Kwa hivyo goal unaona watu Arsenal tote na mimi hivyo bado goal na FC. Asante mzee thanks for joining us. Yeah. Asante sana Stano Asante sana pia Mushiri. Wish you all the best in your third game and hopefully if you make it to the final men you win this whole thing. Wish you all the best man. Hopefully next year hapa mfanye interview ya pili as the winners. Thanks for joining us man. Thank you. Now to my favorite part of the show the trivia. And as history has recalled it, Brian has been on a winning streak. But I have a good feeling about my guest here. Nico Shua Leo, yeah. you're here to change things. Maze have been performing poorly. Kwa hizi trivia maze. As is your nature. I've uh, <laughs> <laughs> been performing poorly. I'm on a losing streak of two <coughs> losses straight. Hopefully Maze today. Yangu na wewe ni tuni. Hopefully today is a day. Jesus. Hopefully today is a day. You're so ass. <laughs> okay, so sawa basi. So let's just start with because you know the biggest game this weekend was yes, Chemeji yes, Derby Matse mm. Gormo Hayo Matses FC. Wanze hapa atutambuangi form. No way. Form goes out the window. Heritage as Mourinho called it. Kenyan El Clasico. So you're going to start with Gormo here. Let's so go. the first question for you is how many games has Gormo here lost? in the KPL in the KPL how many games has Gormahia lost I'm going to yes. go I think they've lost they've lost one one mm-hmm. what about you two games no actually three games three games yeah uh unaweza jua ni gani not really But the answer is one. Yeah, Poster Rangers. Poster Rangers. Mm-hmm. No, not Poster Rangers, Kenya Police. Oh, Kenya Police, sorry. Yeah, yeah Kenya Police. Yeah. Off to a good start. God yes. Damn. Aya, we've seen guys with the Muranga Seals kit. We've talked about AFC. So, in your opinion, who's above the other in the table right now between AFC and Muranga Seals? Yeah. AFC. AFC. 
What about you? I say Muranga Seal. FC. Yeah, the answer is FC because <laughs> FC they are number eight and Muranga Seals are number eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This one is a true the or camera? false. True or false? True or false. True or false. Let's go. We are familiar with Rooney. Wayne Ro no, Rooney. Kenyan. Kevin Rooney. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. The yes, number yes. 88. Yes. He has played for both AFC and Gorma here. True or false? Usniangalia, sukona jibu ya. Sujibu. Sukona jibu ya. Ina yu najua jibu. Ina najua jibu kwa. Kwa unajua jibu. Jibu kwa anza la. False. 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 Yeah, it's Austin or uh, Austin or the Ambo yes, that has yeah. played for both. <laughs> Bro, I'm not You're already losing. Ah, truly, I'm not going to lose. Ah, truly, I'm not going to lose. Ah, let's move on. Let's move on to AFC. Mm -hmm. Oh, God This damn year was very important for AFC. It yes. They marked an achievement. Yes. What was that achievement? 60th year anniversary for AFC as a football club. I was going to say pass. I was pass. Boom. Yeah, it's Ingwe at it Ingwe at 60. Come on. It was a famous day at New Stadium. I'm not an Ingwe fan. How the hell am I supposed to know this? <laughs> General football, bro. It's the same way you know Arsenal has three league titles. Because I'm a hater, but I'm not an Ingwe <laughs> fan. Uh -huh. Aye. Of course we know uh, Benson Omala. But Nisha win. Is the, is the, is the top scorer. Yes. Is that, he has a chance to equalize. He's the top Nifoti. scorer for um, KPL and also Gorma here. Mm -hmm. Who follows him in the Gormahia school? In the Gormahia, not yeah. in the yes. goal, golden yes. boot standing. Yeah. In the Gormahia squad, who follows him? Oh, but you can get a chance to answer first. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 I'm not too sure, but I'll give him. Also, I, I think Austin Odiambo follows him. Minta G said yesterday in Tasema Omala got 11 goals in the Kenyan Premier League this season. <laughs> I've already won this trivia. <laughs> so Austin Odiambo with seven. Austin Odiambo. Yes, yes, yes. End the seven. stream, oh Dave. Oh my God! Who will stop the who will end this trivia? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who will stop who will end this trivia? So once again, who <laughs> do we win? How do we feel? Uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. show walk. some grace. It's a cakewalk. Watch and come Nyash is the only one who comes close. Like in the wild card, Nyash is the best number two. Because yeah. you know, I'm creme de la creme. Mm -hmm. And then maybe this guy or Jimani in terms of spelling. Because yeah. Yeah. Pass. Cakewalk. So we, need, we need to get you back, baby. <laughs> we need to get you back, man. So uh, do you feel so comfortable about AFC? Not just like the yes, yes, yes. The like, just like Stano has talked to us here, one of the participants in the Tujia Mini tournament. Yeah. He's also backed AFC here. Yeah. So oh, I'm, wow. I'm confident. We're gonna we're gonna ruin the title parade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just as the way you're confident in AFC, mm -hmm. I'm also confident in FPL. Mm. And this is one of the best game weeks that we have in the Premier League right now. I'm talking about a double game week. So for those people who don't know, a double game week is a game week where our teams get to play two matches but in one game week. So of course it's not every team that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. playing. There are a couple of them, you know. And as we've talked about, there's Liverpool, mm -hmm. there's Arsenal, there's Crystal Palace, there's uh, Sheffield United, mm -hmm. who by the way, they surprised us with the draw against Chelsea. Two, two. You know, there's Bournemouth, who by the way, you guys get to play. There's uh, Wolves. So I just like to go through some of those fixtures that uh, will mm -hmm. give us the best out of this week. So of course, Arsenal, Wolves and uh, Chelsea. Who are some of the Arsenal picks that you feel you're confident in? I think with the Arsenal pick, of course, Saka head and shoulders above the rest uh -huh. is a must-have. Mm -hmm. And also either of Saliba or Gabriel Magarez in terms of clean sheets, especially Gabriel because he also helps in the other end of the pitch by scoring set pieces. Mm -hmm. So them two, those are the standouts, Saka and Gabriel Magarez for me. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I'll pick Saka and Trossard, especially popping oh. in with the goals and the assists. Uh, uh -huh. Which come in clutch at some at some points, but yeah, for Arsenal I'll go with Saka or Trossard. I'd add Harvards to that list because he has form on his side mm -hmm. and he's been scoring goals, especially in the Premier League. You know, so let's move on to Liverpool. Liverpool do play uh, Fulham and Everton, as of course you guys know Everton is the massive side derby. Of course, it anything is. goes. Mm -hmm. So I have 
uh, Luis Diaz over there. Mm -hmm. And of course, everybody owns Salah, Salah right? Yeah. Like yeah. But I don't know if this is these are one of those clean uh, g games where you'd consider doubling up on Liverpool defense, considering uh, clean sheets and also saves from Keleha. Not the defense, really. I think still the attacking players are the most little threat. Yeah. Especially now the derby, they will definitely turn up for it. You could even bank on Nunes or Diaz instead of if you can't afford Salah, go for Nunes, go for Diaz because I believe one of those three will definitely be in the score sheet, score sheet once score they, sheet, yeah. once they get to meet Everton. Yeah. I have to talk about Man City first because mm -hmm. they are playing Brighton. Mm -hmm. And we, we have tell us boy in yeah. Luton first and then Brighton. No? no, but in game week 34. Okay. Yeah. You're playing uh, Brighton. Okay. So are there any players who you feel might get as most points as those people who are having a double game week? Business as usual team? for Manchester City. Business as usual. Kevin De Bruyne and Philip Walter for them. The picks for that game. What about a clean sheet? Uh, clean sheets are, are difficult to come by for Manchester City right now. Uh -huh. In Etro Kwadimik, looking for a needle in a haystack. It's one thing that City doesn't do nowadays, mm -hmm. it's keeping clean sheets. So I will stay away from Manchester from City defenders. defenders yeah. What about Haaland? Considering he's the most owned player in FPL at 14.3 million. He's been a bit inconsistent. Yeah. So not really sure if he will turn up or not really. Mm -hmm. uh, safer bets, once again, it's Foden and KDB again. Okay. Uh, w lastly, I want to finish up with Crystal Palace because I feel they are slept on, mm -hmm. considering they've been scoring even against Man City. Yes. And Crystal Palace play West Ham and Newcastle, both at home. I don't know, man. Those look like tough fixtures. Tough I mean, fixtures, West Ham yeah. are still involved in the Europa, albeit, you know, that's a tough ask against Leverkusen. But mm. then when you look at the other game they are facing Newcastle, Newcastle are always buoyed, they're always aggressive, they attack till 90, haram ball, you know. Mm -hmm. But then when you have the likes of Olise and Eze, you can create things for Mateta or Odson Edward, who's also back from injury. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want to add? Yeah, I think uh, with, the, with Olise coming back and Olise is quite high in the assist charts that yeah. is from last season as well yeah so i think that brings a lot of opportunity for the strikers so i'd pick edward over mateta but other from that i think i'll stay away from crystal palace players because <laughs> the two fixtures they have against west ham and newcastle they're very Jeez. difficult fixtures for them what i know about crystal palace is mateta will give you the third choice striker in late say in your 343 formation Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, when you look at the midfield, I have easy over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now, my FPL tip for you guys, especially if you still have the chip, will be this. In game week 34, you can use the free hit chip. Uh, after game week 34, you can use the wild card because there is uh, a double game week 37 coming up <laughs> with the likes of Manchester United <laughs> having that. Game so, week what? 37. Captain Mark, Mark Marcus Rashford. Mark those words. Nataka yes. clip. Mark those words. Captain Marcus Rashford for <laughs> game week 37. If you want to lose points or if you want to gain points. <laughs> if you want to beat your rivals. Yeah. Captain Rashford game week 37. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so that's pretty much from FPL. I've mm -hmm. talked about Game Week 34 for almost four weeks now. So you guys already know who to pick. All right, fair yeah. enough, man. And it's been great to be here at Kirinyaga, man. The Tujiamini yeah. tournament, Tujiamini initiative, courtesy of Sport Pesa. Wasewa Eastern, this is your chance. Embo, Machakos, Meru, Kina Eric Njiru. Maybe Eric Njiru is a talent for me. We can never know. He's sleeping on it. He's sleeping on it. But at the end of the day, Tujiamini has been brought to you by courtesy of Sport Pesa. Yes. It's been a pleasure being here at Kirinyaga. It's a great tournament. I mean, we've watched good goals. We've heard from the players. We've heard from chairman of uh, Nyombakumi FC. And it's been, you know, exciting, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. been a good time. We'd like mm -hmm. to appreciate Sport Pesa for having us and for organizing this wonderful initiative to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And as always, sign up. Your chance to come up might be right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm happy because Mashemeji Derby is finally here and we get to see Omala go back to the scoring record and extending that lead, man. So, so 100%. Yeah. Up until next time, I've been Kobe, my nose bigger brother, Brian Waudo. My name is Tobiko Ice, a.k.a. him. <laughs> Vernon Teke, the best FPL manager in town. And this Cap. episode has been brought to you by Sport Pesa and the good company. <laughs> Tournament winner. <laughs> Brian Waudo here representing the Wildcard podcast on the Good Company YouTube channel. Boss, how are you today? Uh, Naito Sylvester. Sylvester. Yeah, I'm the head coach of uh, the winning team, Kirinyaga Stars. Yes, head coach of the Kirinyaga Stars who have just won the inaugural Tujiamini Initiative Tournament courtesy of Sport Pesa. How do you feel? 
Uh, I'm thanking God. Uh -huh. I'm very ecstatic. You can hear my breath. Yes. Uh, it's, it's a very good win for us. And a very good, uh, we can say, thanking God for, for this win. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm mesmerized. The boys have done their work well. Mm -hmm. All the supporters, our fans have also done very well for us. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping everything is going towards the direction that we want. And God is facing towards our team. God is facing towards your team. Now, just one question before my partner gets to you. Yeah. I've seen the mentality of your team. You guys attack, attack in every game. You just won 5-0 in the semi-final. And in this final, albeit difficulties sometimes, you did manage to find a way to get the goal. Is it credit to the mentality of the players or what do they do? Do they listen to you? What time, type of tactics do you implement in them on a daily training basis? Okay, our team, we have a slogan that Kamanyuki, mm. meaning we attack. Attack, the, attack. The bees attack. attack. Uh -huh. So our system is attacking, and that is what we usually play here, anywhere. Our game is always attacking. Secondly, this is a tournament. In a tournament, you can't sit back, you can't build. So mainly, it's, you, have, you have to look for goals and get the goals. One is the game is locked, two is the game is locked. So you can't start building team because we don't have time. Uh, then again, we are only playing for 20 minutes each yes. half. Yes. So within the 20 minutes, you cannot say that, that you're going to build the game to go. But when it goes, but generally, our philosophy is is Kamanyuki, and that's how we play in the league and anywhere when you see Kinyaka stars in yes. Kamanyuki. And that is one has won you the tournament, yeah. right? Thank you. <laughs> He's already answered the question I wanted yes. to know, but just one simple one. When entering this tournament, Uliamini Unraiza win? Our motto yeah. is Nisi Dominus Frustra. Okay. Without goal, it's all in vain. That's what you shall go with. So with us, we know that with God, we will win. And, we are, and that's what has given up the boys. The boys know that uh, anytime they know that with God, everything is possible. So when you're entering this tournament, we put our mentality that because we know what is at stake in this tournament, and that's why we are going for it. And we thank God we have managed and we have got it. Congratulations. We are so happy for you, man. Congratulations, Buddha. That was Sylvester, the head coach of the Kirinyaga Stars, who had the champions of the Tujiamini Initiative, the inaugural tournament here in Kirinyaga. <laughs> Once again, Brian Odo here representing the Wild Card podcast from the Good Company YouTube channel. Bro, what's your name? My name is Peter Gidenji. Peter Gidenji. And you represent the? Kirinyaga Stars. Kirinyaga Stars. You, brother? Dennis Muraidi. Dennis Muraidi. Yeah. Kirinyaga Stars. Yeah. How do you feel about winning the Tujiamini tournament, the inaugural tournament of the Tujiamini Initiative? Ah, tuna skia fura sana. Eh, tena tume fraya zaidi. Eh, na sport pesa yendele ivo ivo. Eh, tuna skia vizuri sana. Sawa sawa. Na nige penda kuwaliza. I've watched your gameplay. Kutoka the first minute of the first half, adi semi final pale na ona mli pega watu ba watano kabisa. Ni mo na gameplay yenu ni attack, attack, attack. Even in this final, at some point in the second half, mli leme wa kidogo, but you stood your ground and you've won the whole tournament. Is it credit to the coach, to the players, mna piga tizi daily ama ni nini? Eh kitu ya kwanza ni kwanza ni coach kwanza alafu mama player kwanza wajituma kwanza kwa jina wajituma hivyo tu hivyo eh hivyo daily daily hiyo ndio bid na mungu na mungu na mungu mungu mbele sawa sawa asante sana eh asante